Hi guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is this week's, no, 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 not this week's, this month's Dollar Tree haul. That is insane to me, guys. Usually I am at the Dollar Tree two to three times a week, but September has been crazy pants. So yes, this haul is representative of the entire month of September. Some of these items were new to my store this month, so stay tuned. Okay, so I have a couple packages going out to a couple YouTube friends, so about two different size mailers. Two more jars of the Pampa sauerkraut. I've had this before, I think it's pretty good. I've read all sorts of things about how sauerkraut is good for the body. And sometimes I'll just have it as a little side all by itself during lunch or dinner. I never did find the Pampa beets that Pam's Life had found, but um, I did decide to buy the Del Monte pickled beets with sea salt. This does unfortunately have sugar in it, so I won't be eating a ton of it all the time, but I love pickled beets whether it has sugar or not. Also bought the unsweetened applesauce, the name brand Horizon Honey Graham Crackers, and I bought a couple boxes. One is being used right now of the Girl Scouts Caramel Crunch cereal. It probably is not nearly as good as this thing right here, which is my favorite. Girl Scout cookie ever, the Samoas, which I can never buy because they'll be gone in two seconds. We hardly ever buy cereal anymore, so I thought I would buy a little treat for the hubby. Some of the Healthy Choice chicken with rice. They usually have this at Dollar Tree. Decided to have it on hand just in case with the cold season coming. A 25 pack of the Mesada tostadas. I've seen these on the Dollar Tree before, but I've never tried them. So if you have, let me know. Some snacky items were some veggie chips. And the thing that got me excited about this was the cassava. So I usually like cassava chips. I hope those are good. Also the sriracha peas. I've had this brand before with just the wasabi peas, which I thought were pretty good. And two more packs of the Nestle Pure Life mini water bottles. Also coming up, I'll be having a Saturday morning breakfast with some girlfriends. So I decided to give their tomato juice a try again. I think I've tried it a, a while ago. And I bought the two ounce bottle of the name brand Tabasco sauce to make, what do you think, for breakfast? Bloody Marys, right? <laughs> yeah, so we don't have that all the time, but I thought that would be a nice thing to have. And then maybe we'll have some um, mimosas as well, in addition to the actual food, <laughs> of course. Also bought four bottles of the San Pellegrino mineral water. I'll also be having that at the breakfast. I think it'll be a nice touch. For non-edible items, I bought more of the snack bags. They only had the Paw Patrol, so I bought three of these. This should last us quite a long time. And I know a lot of you have seen a while ago that they were carrying name brand Pure Energy or something like that, the Reveal brand too of the GE bulbs. Um, this is the two year life halogen bulbs. We need at least one of these for the backyard and the 45 watt. They even had LED bulbs as well. The Energy Smart, and this will be going in um, one of our chandeliers. One thing that I had made earlier this month or even at the end of August was a first aid kit. It's really just from one of the pencil cases that was in the school supply section. I wanted something that wasn't too hard and that was super light and I could just take it on the go while camping. And to be honest, a lot of that stuff in there is from the Dollar Tree. So even like the tick tweezers, I used one of the tweezers in that four pack from the tool section for that. Uh, there's triple antibiotic in there, alcohol wipes, all sorts of medications, Benadryl, all sorts of good stuff. So now that camping is done, I'll probably keep this in my car as a car kit to have on hand. I know that these medications can go bad in the heat but uh, yeah, it's gonna be cold pretty soon, so at least I'll have it on hand during the winter just in case something happens. Another bag of the sun-dried tomato halves. I was happy to find this pretty big bag of the sun-made mission figs. I've seen this in mini bags, but this one is the seven ounce 
portion. A bunch of the book rings. These have been around at the Dollar Tree for a little while now. I think there might be even a fourth size. These two are the are the same size. But so like the really big ones, medium, and then the small. And I've been wanting to use these lately to keep Aria's flashcards together. We've been kind of making our own that fit school. Another school type of item are these foil star stickers. These are to mark our books and how many books we're reading. The Vicks Vapo Drops and the Menthol and the Cherry. These would be a perfect size for the car or for your purse and backpack. I had used up a couple washi tapes last spring with Easter cards and spring cards and birthday stuff. So I decided to buy some that were kind of spring-like to me. But to be honest, I would use these really cute designs at all times of the year. I don't care. The owl one with stars and rainbows and hearts. And then this one's kind of like a spring, almost like a woodland one, kind of, with the mushrooms. And the fox, or is that a squirrel? I can't really tell. And as most of you well know by now, a lot of the e.l.f. stuff has come back to the Dollar Tree. A lot of stores are having these really big displays. And um, a lot of that stuff has been at the Dollar Tree before. I remember when I first started filming Dollar Tree hauls maybe three years ago or so. Um, I bought a bunch of that stuff then. Certainly if it looks really interesting to you and you want to try it, I say go for it. Give it a try. But to be really honest with you, and I really hope this doesn't offend anybody, the stuff that Dollar Tree has been having lately, the All May and the Elf, I have terrible, terrible luck with those brands. Um, I have better luck with Elf Studio, but I did decide to try this, which is the oil blotting sheets. And these packs contain 50 sheets each. My favorite mints. These are the Lifesavers mints. I'll either get these in the wintergreen or the certs. And I like having these in my car, my desk, my purse, pretty much everywhere. I did use up one of the LA Colors Mauve Glaze lipsticks. This is probably one of my favorite lipsticks that's come from the Dollar Tree. And I think really it's because it just works well with my skin tone. Um, it is not that dark at all. Um, it's much more of a natural kind of a color in the mauve glaze. I've been pretty good at refraining from buying a ton of holiday stuff. I don't know how much longer that'll last because the Christmas stuff is in full force. But this I thought was pretty cute. I would plan on putting it on our front door on the inner side. And I really like these dusters. I decided to buy another one. I have one that I keep upstairs. So I decided to buy one for the downstairs. And Aria's birthday is coming up. So I'm starting to work on her birthday stuff. And for a gift bag, I'll be using the Princess Poppy. That is her favorite. They also have placemats as well, but I might not be leaving this as a placemat. I might turn it into some kind of framed artwork or something. Also the decals. The troll stickers, she's going to love these. Also some troll lip balms. She's been really into lip balms lately, so she's gonna really like that. I've been using these labels for school to put on Aria's uh, feeding backpack. They are super durable for that purpose to put her um, rate and her dose. I know a bunch of you have seen some of the fabric softener and detergents that have been coming to the Dollar Tree. I decided to only pick up the final touch spring fresh. The cashier at my store was really excited about these. But if you've used this, let me know because this will be my first time using it. And they also have sheets if you prefer those. One other fall item I bought were some of these mixed um, burlapy polyester flowers in the orange, in the dark orange, and in the red. I have one little area of the mantle that I want to update with some fall flowers. All right, so that is it. Let me know, guys, what goodies you have been finding. Since I haven't been in the store, I could have very well missed, like, an entire slew of really nice cosmetics or really nice craft items or decorations or whatever. So let me know what you have been finding. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.